So, we have seen some very deadly Jules builds, where she's feeding you full of all sorts of things. This is a bizarre build out of context for Jules with a twist. Uh, she is going to be healing, not necessarily hurting with her food for a change. There is a wonderful new item called Sushi Boat uh, that uh, perhaps adds a little bit of danger to a survival, otherwise survivable Jules build. Uh, let's see how, how the guys built up around it. Let's let's see what the community was able to come up with the sushi boat. So here we have a Jules build. We are building around the sushi boat. Uh, we also have strawberry, slushy, honeycomb, decanter, sorbet, and fruit press. So first up, we have that brand new sushi boat. Every six seconds, this large meal vehicle, of all things to give Jules, gives you 15 health. And when you heal, you gain 10 joy. So it effectively gives you 15 health and applies 10 joy, as well as having a bonus passive for other things to give you 10 joy. That's very short cooldown for a large item. We don't see six seconds on a large item very often. The numbers on it aren't too impressive, but I can imagine this has some crazy synergies. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the build and have a look at those. Strawberry is the next item up. Every four seconds, this meal ingredient heals both players for three. Its passive is adjacent meals have plus three joy or plus 10 joy if they're large. So Sushi Boat is dealing 20 joy when it triggers. We know Strawberry, I, I, I'm afraid to, to break the news, but we know Strawberry has been reworked because we were told that healing that applies to both players has been removed from the game. Uh, so this won't work quite like this, but let's assume that we have a similar sized small cooldown healing item this is dealing another 10 joy. So every four seconds, 10 joy, 10 joy, 10 joy. Very nice little bit of synergy with the sushi boat. Moving swiftly on, we have slushy, which we've seen a whole bunch of times. This is like the go-to small jewels item to fit into any build. You have a small space, pick up a slushy. I'm going to tell this to people like day one of playing the bazaar. If you're playing jewels and you see a slushy and you have space and it hasn't changed, pick it up. Slushy, this small meal, every 10 seconds deals 20 joy and applies 2 seconds of freeze to 2 enemy items. This item is insane. If you get to the 10 second mark, it's going to win you some games. It fits into basically any build, it doesn't really need any synergies, although some extra cooldown reduction or speed would be helpful but it's still just going to do a hell of a lot of work for you. Uh, I don't remiss having that in any build. Honeycomb is next up. Every 8 seconds, this small ingredient heals you for 8 health. Which means it also applies 10 joy, because Sushi Boat exists. Um, one thing I'd be interested to see, we don't, on BBOC, we don't, one, like, we don't do hero stats, we don't do hero skills, and we don't do item uh, scaling. Another thing we don't do is shiny and fancy. And that would make this game this incredibly difficult to do because you just make everything fancy and we don't know what any of the fancies are. But I want to know if Fancy Sushi Boat increases that passive. If it just increases the health it heals, eh. If Fancy, if a Shiny Sushi Boat increases the joy that you deal as damage, that is a crazy good Shiny. We don't talk about Shiny and Fancy enough on this channel either. Mad respect to shiny and fancy items. Cannot wait to play with them. At the moment, we don't see enough of them to even talk about it. Um, so yeah, that's Honeycomb. It's going to heal for 8 and deal 10 joy. Decanter. Every 9 seconds, heal both players for 15. Again, that's going to be gone. Uh, but healing effect on you, heal for 5 more. So this might exist in a similar fashion. We might be getting more healing. At this point, with these 3 healing items, we are, we are healing for a considerable amount at least. Uh, and again... It deals 10 joy. We, we're starting to see the synergy here that I was talking about before. Just a bunch of small healing items. Um, 15 for 9 is quite good considering we just did 8 for 8. 15 health for 9 even though it's to both players is definitely worth it. Uh, seeing as we're going to be using joy anyway so it doesn't matter if they're full health. Sorbet is our next item, our penultimate item. Every 13 seconds this small meal deals 15 joy and applies 5 seconds of freeze to a random enemy item. Don't get slushy, pick up a sorbet. Why not both, you know? Uh, no, it fits into a similar vein as slushy. I feel like slushy is just the better item. It's more joy, 
it's more consistent freeze because it splits in among items so it's more likely to hit the one that you want to hit and it charges faster so slushy definitely better than sorbet our last item is the fruit press every eight seconds give 40 health to both players that again is also going to be changing but the premise of it is great doesn't matter if they have health we love having health and we love dealing 10 joy because that's what sushi boat does this build is going to have changed because we've been told that healing applying to both players is gone. However, and this seems to be this seems to be the way for a lot of builds, right? Where something changes, where the bizarre team go, okay, we don't quite like that. At this late stage of development, when we are close to getting the game, wink, we're close to getting the game, right, guys? Uh, this late on, this late on, we are not going to see drastic changes to how the entire class is built up. An example is Jules. They reworked Joy recently. They just changed a tiny fraction of it, and they're not changing an awful lot about the items, as far as we know anyway. Same with Vanessa, we've seen some Vanessa changes, but she's still got these like dual cast and tri cast items happening in her build, right? So even though we're going to lose a lot of these heal both player items, I don't think we're going to lose all of the healing that Jules has access to. So Sushi Boat is still going to be strong. In fact, I would argue that Sushi Boat might get stronger because we're going to have smaller amounts of healing, probably, because they're, they're not applying to both players anymore. So perhaps they're on a shorter cooldown. I don't know. Maybe it just gets worse. Maybe they just like heal right maybe decanter instead of healing both players for 15 every nine seconds only heals you for 15 every 12 seconds they can make those sorts of changes that's a lazy change be make it interesting keep keep us on that short nine second cooldown and just heal us for less or make just make some other uh, little changes here and there either way the premise of it is the premise of this build is going to remain. There is still going to be healing in Jules' kit, so you're still going to be able to get that 10 joy every time you heal from Sushi Boat. However, knowing the crazy amount of joy that Jules can do, this is probably the best you can do with so with a this is probably the best you can do with the Sushi Boat, but it's not the best you can do with the Jules. So for that, this isn't going to be getting full marks. However, it does use the two easy win items, Slushy and Sorbet. So it's going to be easy to build up and do because you don't need those items. This is effectively a eight slot build. Uh, maybe we do more of these challenges in the future where we have some smaller slot builds. Let me know in the comments if you want to do that. So it's going to be an easy build to come up with, right? All you need to do is get the sushi boat. Now that's going to cost you 12 gold. So that's not coming up until like later on to the run. Um, but let's say you already have a healing build in place or perhaps you have a control build in place and you already have the slushy and the decanter. You see that sushi boat? Pick up that sushi boat. You're already running control. Add some healing. You're going to outlast them and you're going to murder the enemy pretty easily. Uh, the same goes for if you have a healing heavy build. Definitely pick up that sushi boat. Uh, so what I would like to see to sort of maybe elevate this a little bit more is some early game healing items. But honestly, so far, so good. I think this is relatively easy to build into. Definitely not a punishing build. Uh... The only thing is, it, it's not there until the late game. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a four out of five for this one. It, it's the the simplest thing to do, and it is just a good strong build. Okay, if you have been liking what you see of Jules, uh, well, you, you're wondering what I meant by it can do more. Uh, we have our top five joy items listed out for you in this next video. So go check that out. Some of them are absolutely nuts.